Alrighty guys. Yo, what is going on guys? Dr. Schwaz here. Welcome back to another Gears 5 video. Today I'm going to be discussing tips and tricks for the gunner class in Gears 5 Forward and Escape. So let's get started here. So the gunner is a super versatile class with 22 skill cards, a lot of different ways you can run him. Tip number one, if you're running a salvo stun build, if you pull sentinels as a mini boss, you can load the salvos onto a locker. They also spawn on robot ways 8 through 10 from the DR1 Devastators, so you can get salvos that way too, to avoid buying them from the fabricator of course in horde frenzy that's a different because you start with more power but uh this is referring to regular horde uh if you're running a mulcher build tip number two mulcher signs spawn on regular horde wave seven through ten so you can just survive with the torque bow build until then and then get a mulcher get a locker and then perk up the uh, chain gun ammo regen once you get one so mulcher signs spawn on every enemy set you'll always see them uh, wave seven through ten regular horde in Frenzy, they will spawn uh, 7 through 12. Although in Frenzy, it's more justified to buy one, so feel free to do that uh, with the power that you start with. Tip number three, if you're running a tri-shot build, you can obtain them via stumps, which are mini-bosses. So they'll spawn on the five ways in Horde, or they'll spawn on 4, 8, 12 in Frenzy. You also get them via Guardians, which in regular Horde spawn on waves 7 through 10. And then on Frenzy, they spawn between waves 5 through 9. And then Oppressors, you also can get try shots from them as well. Um, in regular 1 to 50, they spawn on waves 4 through 8. And then Oppressors in Frenzy spawn from 5 through 11. So I'm just telling you all this because you don't have to, to continuously buy the weapons. Um, if you know what enemy set you pull, you know you can kind of predict when you can get that weapon instead of buying all the money, wasting all the money. Tip number four, if you're running a build around like freeze cards, like freeze resist or flash freeze, you can obtain a cryo via ice science, which spawn on the locust enemy set between waves two through seven in regular horde, two through six in frenzy. So they'll spawn on waves where you get locust hybrids. So those are the what I call diaper locust with the spikes in the back and the, the ones that have retros. So you'll see ice scions on waves where you have those enemies too. Tip number five, uh, team resist is a great skill guard to run in horde, especially useful in escape too, but I always like running it um, because you get 95% resistance to damage for six seconds. And that's really useful. Um, your teammates can sponge lots of hits that way. Uh, keep them upright, especially when things get hairy around boss ways or later ways that work. Really useful to run for sure. Good thing about this card is that there's no range requirements. You get resistance as long as the gunner's ultimate is active. So it gives you a little bit of breathing room. You can sponge like a frag in the early ways or boom or a torque bow hit or an M-bar hit. Tip number six, ultimate battery is valuable in escape where you have mutators like longer recharge, like the gunner. For example, they can continuously take damage and be revived over and over again. Like if you have, a, if you run it in Horde, Jack can kind of facilitate that. Uh, your nearby teammates will get a lot of ult charge from the damage that the gunner takes. Very useful, like to a class like a Demolitions, which have a super long ult charge time. If you have a heavy weapon available, running Heavy Charger instead can do a lot to recharge your ultimate uh, as quickly as possible. Tip seven, final tip, be cautious of utilizing heavy shell in horde nothing nothing wrong with it it just it reflects projectiles back at the enemies but one thing you want to be wary of is if you run this card in horde make sure you're nowhere near your teammates because your teammates own explosives can launch back at them if it hits your reflective shell killing them or damaging them so just be cautious of that although it would be really funny to see a teammate drop shot headshot themselves off i've never seen that but maybe it could happen in escape it's great Especially on like hives like the search or something, where uh, you can kill the uh, salvo signs by having the salvos reflect back at them. In horde, stick to some of the other cards, verbally reflect shredder, bait armor, team resist stuff like that. And that is pretty much the tips and tricks I've got for gunner class. For more information about the class in depth, I have tutorials for each class in a separate playlist. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and see y'all in the next video. Peace out.